Good morning, family. Praise God. Happy Sabbath. Oh, boy, do I have a, a, a testimony this morning of God's goodness and his grace and mercy. Amen, amen, amen. Our song for the day is titled um, Redeemer. And I was wondering, asking the Lord if um, this song was going to go with the reading this morning. I'll be reading from the book New Every Morning. And that story is titled Remembering Friends. And so I was, I read through the story. I did a pre-read and I tell you right <laughs> in the very last paragraph um, was the song that the Lord gave uh, me and my uh, prayer partner um, in worship this morning. And I said, Lord, that would be a good song for the day, but I didn't know whether or not it would go with the reading. So I tell you, our God is awesome. He knows, he knows. He puts things together for us. Amen, hallelujah. So let us get started. Let's have prayer for us. Abba Father, thank you, Lord, this morning for being here with my YouTube family, my TikTok family, and the other venues, Lord, that I post to, uh, Pinterest and uh, uh, X, Lord. So, Father, please continue to pour your blessing out upon us. Thank you for the ordering of my steps, Lord. Thank you for the testimony this morning. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. And Father, again, we ask to, for those, Lord, around this time of the year, Lord, to be comforted, Father. Lord, I ask that we will also continue to remember the young man, Kareem, Lord, whose mom got uh, word from um, the doctors that her son um, possibly would never speak nor walk again, Lord. But Father, you have the last say on Kareem's life, Father. His mother has reached out and asked for prayer, Lord. So help us to be a part of this uh, prayer on behalf of Kareem, Lord, and others, Lord, Father. We continue to pray for uh, Pastor Larry Williams and his family, Abba, Father, and for Deborah and her family, Father, Martin, Lord, and um, her aloneness, Lord, and others that may be going through, Father. And Lord, um, Brother Steve, whom I met, who had asked for restoration of his marriage uh, to his wife. Uh, I believe her name is Doris. And so I ask, Lord, that your blessings, Father, would go out, Father, and you would answer, Lord, your children, Father, as they are crying out for a difference in their lives, Lord. And our young people, Lord, bless them as well. Continue to heal our land. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Good morning, amen. And good morning to all my, my family and friends. Um, good morning, Judy. Good morning, Mary, Sister Deborah, Susan, Austria, uh, Brother Fred, Ralph, Brother James Hall. Uh, just so many. I've been going back reading over the comments. And I thank God for you all being here, but I better get on with this reading before my time is out, so amen. Uh, it's titled, Remembering Friends. Uh, our scripture lesson is Job 19, verses 13 and 14. It says, He hath put my brethren far from me, and mine acquaintance are verily estranged from me. My kinsfolk have failed, and my familiar friends have forgotten me. Amen. It says, when COVID-19 invaded the United States, I, Im I immediately thought of family and friends and wondered how they were doing. Required social distancing kept us from physically t being together. However, we could still connect by phone and social media. I decided to check on some long lost friends. I called one friend in a nearby city. She was doing fine. I logged onto Facebook and connected with several people whom, whom I had not talked to for a while, in a while. They were all doing well. 
The next day, I found my college alumni directory and looked up a friend who was in the same major as I was in college. I found her phone number and nervously pushed each digit. When she came to the phone, I identified myself and she said, who is this? Sylvia, we went to college together and I had this and had the same major. Do you remember me, I asked. No, she replied. Okay, I'm sorry to bother you. Have a good day. I answered quickly as I hung up the phone. I was crushed. Okay, I'm sorry to bother you. Have a good day. Perhaps my idea to connect with old friends was a huge mistake. About 30 minutes later, my phone rang. The husband of my college friend was calling to let me know that his wife was having some medical problems that accounted for her response. responses when I called. They found their yearbook and were now looking at my picture. He attended the same college, but was a year behind us. He asked me some questions and I let him know how I met his wife and shared a little bit about our time together in college. I have met throughout my life, I'm sorry, I admitted that I had not connected in years and was checking on people I had not talked to in a while. Throughout my life, I have met tons of people and made many friends. I do not remember everyone but I do hope that I have made a difference in someone's life. Whatever illnesses, afflictions, or maladies we experience here on earth, I pray that we can all say like Job, I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Job 19.25 our reading this morning was written by Sylvia A. Franklin from the little book, New Every Morning. And that was the song, My Redeemer, after our morning worship that um, came up and um, we listened to it and I love that song. That was one of the first songs that connected me to the artist, um, Nicole C. Mullen. And I tell you, I just love her music. And so when I saw this Remembering Friends looking at the title, I'm thinking, mm, maybe not. But you know, the Lord is good. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is present. And he knew, he knew I was going to choose this. He knew I was going to follow the Holy Spirit. He knew he was going to give me this testimony this morning. So thank you, Abba Father for dipping me down and refreshing me, Lord, into your pool of love, Father. And Lord, thank you for bringing my friends with me, Lord. Thank you for all of us, Lord, being there and being able to worship you and praise you. And thank you, Lord, for the little things you do, how you speak to our hearts, Lord, and we're obedient, Father, and you give us a testimony. So I thank you this morning, Lord, for my YouTube family and friends, TikTok, those on Pinterest that I haven't met yet, and Lord, my Facebook family and friends. Father, continue to heal our land. We love you, Lord, and we trust you. Father, let that be a repetitive thought as we go throughout the day. You are so near and dear to us, Lord. Father, the word says, by beholding, we become changed. So by repeating, Lord, and reaffirming ourselves with our love for you and your love for us, may our lives be changed, Lord, not just today, but forevermore and in preparation for your soon return. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Blessing and healing family to all our land. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I pray that um, those of us that work really hard, sometimes really long hours, um, that you will find some time to rest and enjoy and breathe. Amen, family. This is Miss Norma signing off. I love you. Happy Sabbath.